Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 3 Runaway Teen Challenge. I am just going to set up my alarm. Okay. Um, Katrina is here. She is, she is search, looking through the telescope. Um, little Trent is up here. What is he doing? He's playing with the xylophone. Okay. So he is learning skillage. She's doing things that she needs to do. I do want her to go ahead and accept gifts. I think we have way lots. So we need to get those accepted. Um, and in the near future, would be great. But, not going to force it. <laughs> um, so yeah. Um you see a chair and you're freaking out. Oh boy. Oh, Billy Basilli. All right, go look, <laughs> go get the gifts. She's lost her mind. All right. So I know we haven't ex gotten a babysitter today because it is a Sunday at six something at night. So we should be just fine. All right. This is from Anne and Half. This is a message from the game. We are getting the Contempo Outdoor Living Lounge. Thank you so much for that. And yeah, I still got about uh, 19 more hours before I can send anything back to you guys. So I'm really sorry about that. This is from Diva Dog 15 It says, for any challenge and let it be good. All right, let me see what we're getting. We are getting the Blushing Torchier. So thank you so much for that as well. Since you want to get one back, I'm going to hold on to yours. Um, it said, this is from Scarlet9. Thanks for the stereo for Aubrey. You're so very welcome. And thank you for the dromedary. That is a very nice couch. So thank you so much for that. Um, this is from ID89106735. It says, thanks. You're so very welcome. Uh, and we just got the hipster edition photo. So thank you so much for that. Uh, we already took some from Annan. Okay. This is from MKS6390. It says, thanks for the phone for Abby. You're so very welcome. And we just got 750 simoleons. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. That's really great. Thank you so much for that. Um, we already taken from Diva Dog. This is from Dat West Virginia Girl. It says, thanks for the 3,500 simoleons for Sean and the Handyman Challenge. I've never actually heard of the Handyman Challenge. I don't actually even know what it is about. So, may have to look into it. And you are so very welcome. Let's see what we're getting. Ooh, we got the easy machine from Fred's PC Hut. So, you got a computer. Thank you so much for that. All right. This is from... Um, Cat Ray Ray, this says, thanks for the lamp for my dumpster diving, <laughs> dumpster divas. You're so welcome. And I, we got a Fern Keeper Deluxe. So thank you so much for that. And I think that's it for right now. So thank you guys all so much for your gifts. And it is so, so very welcome. Now looking at what we have, we didn't, we needed a couch. So that one couch is going to be very, very nice to put in here. Now let's go ahead and pull out some of the stuff that we got. I don't know if she can get in between that, but I think she'll be able to get in between that. Put the table there so you have a little bit more room. We could put our little fern keeper right there. Um, this photo, we'll put it up in her room because she doesn't have a photo yet. There, it's fine. Uh, we got a light, a light situation. We could probably get rid of this one. Well, I'll just put it over here, so it's you know kind of spaced out a little bit more. I right, put that back. Hold on. Let's go out here and put the other chair. I don't know. I don't think it's really gonna fit out here, but I wish it would. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think it'll fit. I think we're on too much of a slopey pooty. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and sell that one. So thank you to whoever sent it to us. But um, we really do need some more simoleons. So that's good. 
I'm going to hold on to the PC. Actually, you know, I'm not going to sell that chair. I am going to hold on to it because when we move, we're going to want it. Um, talking about moving, I know that I said that she can't get a house until she was a young adult, but I feel like we're kind of running out of space here. But you know what? Until we absolutely do, I'm probably just going to stay here. I was going to say we were going to move, but I really don't think we're going to move because um, right now there's plenty of space, so we should be okay. All right, I'm just going to put the whole house with that wallpapering. I just think it's easier to do that than try and do anything really crazy, um, but I do want to put a wall here. So that it looks a little bit better in my eyes. Okay, there we go. And then I think that's good for right now. I mean, I don't really know of anything else that we absolutely have to have. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to let you go ahead and call up a babysitter. All right, services, call for services, go. Call for services, call for services, 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 services. What I'm doing right now is I am looking for some rocket poos to pick up. So I want you to run over here and I want you to collect, collect. All right, I don't think we have any in our inventory to get smelted or anything to that matter. So I believe where we are. Okay. Wow, this is a pretty view. Um, yeah, I think we're okay. All right. And then when you're done, let's let you go over here. Go here. Am I running? Wee! We're running down a hill. Ooh, that one's worth a lot of money, isn't it? All right. I want to catch the butterfly. Something right there. Catch that as well. It's just a beetle, but that's all right in my eyes. And then I want you to go there by running. Aww, Actually. Run it. Okay, let's see. Catch. Catch. Okay, what is this place? Who is that? Angel Ogden. Okay. Whoops. Whoops. Let's see. Are they home? Alberto is out at the moment. Alberto is out at the moment. Okay. I don't see anyone, though. I mean, I saw that one girl. Hold on, I think there's someone over here. Who is this? Xavier Franklin. So that's not him either. Okay, I think we're okay to go on in. Whoops, too far. So what I want you to do is go here by running. Do, 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 do. All right, and then we're gonna go and let you buy. So we can consign some of these items. Da whip. Okay. Oh, really? All right. Consign. Gold ingot. This one. We could make lots of money. So go ahead and consign that, and that should be good. Wait, what does this do? Uh, put this theme on the express train to dreamland. No idea that means. Um, I'm okay with selling it. So there we go. 18 gifts, eh? Alright, well, we'll get there. She has a lot of bugs that we need to take to the science 
center, but we don't really have a place to take them. Well, we don't really have a way to get over there quickly enough to take them there. So, is there anything we could do here at the park? Yeah, there's a guy there, but that's okay because it's not Alberto. Actually, you could come over here to this park and you could get to know him. He's not that bad looking and it would be helpful if you had someone in mind before you became a young adult because that time is right around the corner and it's almost time for Trent to become a Wait, is he a young adult? I don't know if you, you can't talk to young adults, but, mm, I don't know. Okay, go here. I don't know if he is or if he isn't. So, I think he may be a young adult. I'm not sure. Oh yeah, he's a young adult. Okay. You're going to play soccer. Hopefully you're doing it by yourself. Selfage. She could kind of do what she wants to do for right now. I mean, she doesn't really have anything she absolutely needs to get done. But we have to also watch her surroundings for Alberto because we can't let him see her or we'll be in big, 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 big trouble. And there's only one way to get out of that. And you know it ain't going to end well. So it still says he's out at the moment. So it's not a big deal. What? <laughs> the truck just disappeared. It's kind of funny. Um, we'll probably head out here at about 10 o'clock. So we're home on time. And so we don't have to worry about paying a fine and wasting all of our money. Because... We don't have a lot of money, and I definitely want her to be able to live a pretty good lifestyle from now on because she struggled long enough with her poor baby. So, poor little Trenty booty. Um, yeah, Trent is just learning what he needs to learn. Oh, he learned all he can, actually. So, that's fine. She's actually really liking the soccer ball, so... It's a pretty good way for her to learn athletics without really having to like go to the gym or, you know, having electronics to work out with. This is probably one of the cheaper ways to learn athletic. And to be honest, in my opinion, it's the most exciting because all the others are just really boring and they don't have very much to them. Alright, so what I want you to do is go here by running. Chanel Franklin and Xavier Franklin have turned sour to some bitter name calling on the street the other day. Oh, Billy Basile. Oh, Billy Basile. Okay, and when you get there, go here by running. And then we'll get you to go here by running. Where you at? Where you at? Okay, and then from there, I will get you to just go home. Okay. And we shall be there in time because we only have about 10 minutes, but it's only right here. So, plenty of time left. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and get you in here. You're going to go ahead and use. You're going to go ahead and take a quick shower. We're going to go ahead and not serve dinner, just have some autumn salad. And then, let's see, what time is it? It's 11 o'clock. All right, Trent, let's get you to use the potty chair. Potty chair time. Potty chair time. Potty potty chair. Chair time. All right, when you're done, come feed Trent on the floor before you eat your autumn salad for dinner. Autumn salad. Which is good because we definitely need to get our autumn salad or er, our cooking skill up. Because I think she's only got it at, th yeah, I was going to say two, but she's got it at three. So it's not as good as you would think it would be. 
but that's okay. Alright, Trent, my friend, she's waiting on you. And then once we feed him and once we eat, then we can put him to bed and then we can go to bed ourselves and then we have school tomorrow. Um, that's a little bit different. Just want to say, you know, he was like sitting through the wall. <laughs> he is our mysterious baby. He can do some crazy things. All right, so 12.05, you have to be to school at 9, which means the bus comes at 8. All right, Jamie is now a toddler. Okay, that's fine. Okay, speeding you up because you'll be here forever, cooking up just salad, and that's just crazy. It doesn't take that long to make a salad. I make them all the time. All right. Go ahead and... No, don't put away the leftovers. Okay. No. Alright. Put away the leftovers. For some odd reason, I can't get her to eat them off the counter. She's so stupid. But now she can eat them. Makes absolutely no sense. Alright, then you can go ahead and put Trent in the crib. And then you can go to bed yourself. And then everything should be good. Speeding you up so you don't take forever to do all this. Because it will take you forever to get all this done. Seriously? Going to wash our plates at 2 o'clock in the morning because we don't have anything better to do in our lives. Now look what you did. This is why you don't wash dishes when you're tired because you'll break the sink. <laughs> Alright, you need to spend money to make money, noted Xavier. Franklin and I think an investment in Gypsy Wagon is in the best interest of myself and the community as a whole, but mostly myself. The wheels in the car go round and round. Angel Angel Ogden has been humming. Stop, come on. Go here. You go here. Um they've been humming a pretty tune recently after purchasing a brand new Seriously, it's 4 o'clock in the morning? Oh my goodness. Uh, brand new Ornato Barati M81 Covert Edition. Okay. Looks like Albert Zimmer is at it, scuffling his parental duties by not paying child support. I raised them to be independent. They don't need my help or my money. That is actually for her. She's supposed to be getting child support, but he's not supposed to know about the baby, so it's okay. A dispute erupted between Chanel and Franklin. Okay. Some home at 39 Vist Circle has some new residents by the name of Franklin. Seems Xavier decided to make the move uh, after acquiring a tidy bit of savings. Home sweet home. Alright, so all that they did was move. Now it is like 5 o'clock in the morning, so you know they're not going to get very much sleep because she is going to have school and she's going to be up in about two hours. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to speed through this, hopefully. Hold on. Slow it down. Let it settle itself out. And then speed it up. That's how it works. That's how it works. That's how it works. That's how it works. Works, 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 works. Um, she could stay home from school. Looking at her grades, she does have an A. So it wouldn't be horrible and she wouldn't get scolded because she does have her own child so you know she's like the parental parental guidance of the household let's go ahead and let you empty that and then I'm going to get you down here you're going to clean this use this take a shower repair mop with the puddle you probably won't get all that done before school but that is okay because you don't have to uh have to worry Owen is now the father of a new baby boy. Angel just gave birth to a baby boy named Rocky. Alright. It's a pretty cute name for a little boy. She, like I said, she's not going to get through all this. Like this and this. She's not going to get through. So that's okay. She doesn't really need a shower either. So, well, you do need the bathroom though. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do that. And then right there is the bus. Haha. -ha. Look at me using my abilities. 
All right, Katrina. Let's go, my friend. Let's go, my friend. She loves the outdoors. Though it stinks that she has to be a loser, but that's okay. We'll figure it out. Call the babysitter. Um, tonight is one of those nights where we would have to call, um, take Trent with us because we've already called the babysitter once. Calm down. She's here. Um, so we would have to do that if we wanted to go out tonight, which I really kind of do. I thought about actually trying to get over to the uh, science facility, but I really don't think it's going to happen. I don't know when it closes, to be honest with you, and so I don't know what to expect there, but we'll have to figure that out as well. Is he in this house? Yes. Okay. Let's see, it says he's in there. Shows he's in there, though. Okay. So let's get you inside to class, and you should be just fine for a while. Um, little Trent is just, you know, sleeping at home. Well, there he is, right there. Um, so I'm going to cut out here because things are just going to speed up and pretty much just going to be doing nothing, and I'll be back when she's getting out of school. Okay, she is out and ready to go home. Here we go. She came out a little bit faster than I had expected, so, you know, things went a little crazy and a little bit fast, but I figured it out. All right, so she's completed a painting in her art club, and it can be found in her inventory. Okay. Um, let's, can I click from here and have you go home? Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. <laughs> <laughs> she needs to take a, a nappy poodles before we go out tonight. Um, we need to get this cut when we get there, and we need to pick up the mail that's actually come today in the mailbox. Man, I just had to yawn. All right, pay your bays, bills, pay your bays, <laughs> pay your bills of eighty-five simoleons. Woo! We are rich now. <laughs> <laughs> not really. Let's not be. Let's not get too crazy. All right. So she sold items worth four thousand nine hundred and forty-seven simoleons. She was charged four hundred and eighty-three simoleons in consignment fees. And her top-selling items today were the oval cut soul piece, the gold ingot, and another gold ingot. So we did actually really well. And I'm actually very surprised because half the time I don't do very well when I sell things at the consignment store. And in my LPs, I seem to do amazingly. So maybe I've stepped up my game. Maybe I'm just getting better at selling things in consignment stores. I don't know. But it's just kind of funny that um, I have kind of gotten better at it. And it's just really silly. But since we don't really have anything to consign, I don't think we're going to go out tonight because she is exhausted. And I do feel really bad for her. So what we're going to do is we are going to stay home. We are going to get our needs taken care of while we can. And we're going to do everything that we need to. And we're obviously going to repair this idiotic sink that she broke. Because I'm not going to deal with it much longer. I will literally probably start crying if I have to listen to it anymore. So, yeah. No. I'm trying to get her to mop this puddle. But she's just giving me a hard time about it. Alright. Um, Lola Thompson. Go fly a kite. Oh. Alberto Zimmerman has been a bad, bad sim lately. Failing to pay his child support payments. Hmm. Why do I have to pay... I, why do I have to keep footing the bill in this deal, groaned Alberto. Ha ha ha. Aw, I love that new car smell. After buying his new... Oh my goodness. Yeah, I know it's only the toxic chemicals making me loopy, but it's totally worth it. Okay, seriously, he can buy a car, but he can't pay child support? What a douchebag. <laughs> Not that he knows. He should even know that we have a kid. So, that's okay. Um, but... Psh. Someday down the road, he's going to find out, and he is going to pay child support, let me tell you. Alright, so, child, child, child. You do need to empty that, actually, so let's get you to do that next. 
Then we'll get you over here to repair and to moppage because that is a big mess. Speeding you up because it takes forever without a multi-tab. I would get you one. Actually, we could do that because you do have plenty of money. But I want to save for a pretty nice house when uh, she's ready to buy one. And with as little money as she has right now, we wouldn't be able to get very much. So, yeah. Um, alright, so let's just take care of Trent's little potty because he does need to go. He also really needs a diaper change, but to be honest, it's not that big of a deal because when you pretty much change him into his bedtime clothes, it'll refresh his hygiene. So, I mean, yeah, we should do it, but it's not one of my high priority list items at the moment. Alright, let's go over there and get you to use the potty because you really need to do that. So let's speed you up so you can get over there and do that. Okay, and then when you're done, you can come over here and play with this. Did you finish your homework? Because that would be great if you did. It really would. Because, oh yeah, you did. Look at you go. Also, I want to get you to cut this as oval. And I want to look at what this painting is. I have never seen these paintings. So, go up for a second. I want to put it in his room. I think it's cute. It's not worth a lot of money, so it's really not probably even worth my time to sell it. But let's go ahead and frame it. I think it's cute. I think it's really cute. All right, so she repaired the sink. Yay! She repaired the sink. Um, she's actually up to candiness skill level 3, which means that we can start making things self-cleaning. My favoritos because then I'll never have to clean again in my whole entire lifestyle. Okay, so let's get upstairs and feed your son on the floor. Before, actually, why don't you do that before you cut that? No, I want you to feed the poor child. All right, feed on floor, feed on floor, and then we'll get you to cut this as oval, and that should be good. Um, please stop so your mom can feed you. Actually, before you go and do that, why don't you just go ahead and empty this again and then get this cut. That way we're doing everything and everything should be ready later in life. And then after that, we'll get you to come back up here and take care of Trent for the last time tonight. Tonightage. Okay. So Trent, you should be well taken care of. How is your yours and your mom's relationship? Oh, you guys are best friends. So you're fine. You're fineage. <laughs> Refineage. Um, yeah, this is just, it's going up because they're not speaking and not being angry with one another, but she's still very angry at him. Emma is now a toddler. Okay. Um, support fail. <laughs> yeah, he failed a lot, hasn't he? He's failed a lot in life. What can you say? What can you say? All right, let's see. Stop playing with this idiotic thing. Okay, so he, oh, that's her. I was going to say, uh, he didn't eat, but he did. Go ahead and uh, change his diaper, and then we'll get you to snuggle him because you haven't, oh, you haven't taught him to walk or talk? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Seven days? Okay. We could do it Saturday and Sunday, I believe, so we should have plenty of time. I would hope anyways. All right, speed up because you guys are taking way too long to get this stuff done. Aww, All right. Oh, how do you get downstairs? <sighs> I don't know. I wasn't really paying attention very well. Jeremy is now a toddler. Okay. Put the baby in the crib. Go to bed. That is you're going to be your whole entire day. You have literally maxed yourself out on funnage today, didn't you? No, not really. Um but she, like I said, she's exhausted today from yesterday being up so late and not getting very much sleep. So today she kind of needs the early bedtime. And he's pretty tired as well, even though he got a full night's sleep. So it's okay. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to go ahead and cut out here because they are just going to bed. And I will be back when Katrina is getting up for her day. Be back in just a second. Okay, it's wakey wakey time and she is getting up right now. The baby is still sleeping. I'm not going to mess with him again this morning. I am just going to go ahead and let her take care of some of her needs. Now, the most thing that she really needs to do is eat some cereal um, and then we'll let her shower. Hopefully, she's got enough time to get all of that done because the bus will be here 
in less than an hour. All right, speed you up because you take forever to climb up and down these ladders. Man. All right. By the way, over in the nighttime, um, Alberto got into a heated argument with his now wife. So, you know, things are crazy out there in the world. But, yeah. He's having a good old time. I'm, I'm sure of it. All right. Yeah, the bus is here, but we're going to eat our cereal anyways because we're starving. We're a starving Marvin. Okay. We're ready to go. We're ready to go to school now. Well, she's ready to go to school. I'm not going to school. I'm not going to school no more. I really love the view that we get when we run out our front door. It's like a big uh, lighthouse and just so pretty. Whoa, horses galore, could you say? Um, yeah, I just hate that the bus is so far away from us. But the whole point is we are supposed to be far away from society. society. Um, so that would be why we would have that. Now, I'm going to speed over here because half the time I follow the bus around. And then by the time we get over here, I'm like, is he outside? Because I have to pause and check, make sure. But it seems that he is ooh, right there. He's right there. Okay, just run inside quickly. Okay, he's, he's got it back to us. Sketch. <laughs> All right, she's inside, so it's not that big of a deal. Um, so I will be back when she is getting out of the rabbit hole because we can't really see anything and the baby's just at home sleeping. So it's pretty boring right now. So I will be back in just a second. Okay. So she's out and she actually just got this, um, opportunity. It's lots of drama, lights, camera, action. The world famous actress, Olivia Street will be visiting the Crestview school and stadium this week. She'll be holding a master class for all drama club students. The student who gives the best monologue will win a movie poster signed by hers truly. Does Christina want to participate? Absolutely. Um, when can she go and do this? Um, there it is. Never mind. Um, maybe it didn't chop. But also... <laughs> Alberto is giving me, it's cracking me up. He says, I love them all dearly. They are my center for my very reason for existing, commented Alberto Zimmer recently after failing to pay his child support. Those little pieces of, <laughs> pieces of metal and paper, so shiny in my pocket. What? Whose children? What about them? <laughs> oh my goodness. He is too funny. But he keeps failing. He is such a fail. All right, locks, okay. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Don't go home yet. Stop. Stoppage. When can you do this? Hold on. Pause. Go into your Wednesday. It's due by Wednesday at 7.59 p.m. P.M. Um... I don't see it popping up, and I think this is one of the problems with the combined rabbit holes. So I'm going to say, actually, I want to see who's in this in this car. I know it's not Alberto, so it's not a big deal. It's a girl. It's a girl. Okay. Um. What was I going to say? Um. It's actually a problem with the rabbit holes. The combined ones, you can't actually. Do the little opportunities that pop up for the school or whatever else is connected to it because of that little issue. So, we probably won't be able to complete this opportunity, which is really upsetting because we should be able to. Um, I've contemplated adding the rabbit holes in separately, to be honest with you, because I know that if they're separately, then they'll work but uh, for right now, they're just going to stay combined because I don't really have anything better to do with my life. Anyways, because I really don't feel like ripping the whole town apart and trying to fix what is already here. So, we're going to go for that. And then, what do you need? You don't need anything. You just need to go and play. That would be one good thing that you could do. Alright, then I'm going to get you to clean this up. And actually, you need to eat. So let's have you eat. Uh, let's have you have dinner. And you're going to go ahead and make yourself some gooby carbonara. 
and you received the oval cut sole piece from the gem cutter. Perfect, because we absolutely need to get that in there to get some more money. Um, yeah, I think I think thirty thousand is a pretty good estimate of how much money we really need to have. It could be between what's in our house and what is actually um, in our bank. So right about now we have about five thousand ish, uh, give or take, because we had to pay the babysitter. So. Um, tonight we'll consign a few more things and then we should be good. This is worth a lot of money and that is really good because she needs the money an awful lot. So I am pretty excited about that. Um, I don't know why our child is outside <laughs> playing, but I guess he wanted to get a little bit of sun. He is very pale. So I understand. I understand. No, I'm sure it's just because it was no room in here, but that's okay. He can sit outside and play for a little while, as long as he doesn't go too far, which he won't because the lot is so tiny that he doesn't really have any other <laughs> any place to go. All right, speeding her up so she gets through this a little bit quicker because I do want to get over to the consignment store. Oh, man. Okay, well, you know what? We're just going to go then. We are going to leave without eating, and we will fix it when we get home. All right, come and pick up Trent. That would be good. You, oh, <laughs> She's crying over the food. All right, you don't got to cry over it. It's not that big of a deal. All right, and then you can go here by running when you pick him up, and that would be great because we absolutely need to get something done tonight. All right, come on. Seriously? One of you has got to budge. Okay, at least he, he's budging a little bit. Though it takes him a million years to crawl. That's why we need to teach him to, to walk. It's a tad smidge faster if they walk than if they are crawling. But, like I said, we're going to do that this weekend. We've got our whole weekend planned out for just teaching him what he needs to learn. And then we should be good. All right. Go ahead and put down Trent and then collect... And then I'm going to need you to pick him up. Pick up Trent. This is the only bad thing about going out with him is that it's like an up and down kind of thing. You're putting him down. You're picking him up. Putting him down. You're picking him up. It gets really, oh, um, it gets really old after a while. But that's okay. He is our child and we will do anything for him. Now there is a bug over here. So I want her to actually run here. Whoops. Run. And then I'm going to have her catch this. Where's she going? Oh, I think she's running the pathway. Which is fine. Alright, go ahead and catch it. Well, you got to put Trent down. She has lost her mind. What do we expect? It's a deer. 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 Oh, stop. When you're done with that, you can go ahead and pick up your son again. And then I'm going to get you to go here by running. So I thought I saw something flash over there. That's the only reason why we're going that way. That bug was worth 30 smolians. Man, we should pick up more of those. I mean, yeah, 30 is an amazingly amount. Is an amazing amount. But it's good enough for me. Okay, you could run. Okay. Now the reason I have her coming to the back of the building is because I need to check his house. And it says he is out. So looking around, I actually don't see anybody. Do you see anybody? I don't see anybody. Do you see anybody? I don't see anybody. Anybody? 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 Okay, let's go down. Whoops, too far. Ha ha ha. And now I want you to go here by running. And what I need to do is just watch the house until I see her go by. Okay. So go ahead and put your run down. I'm going to go ahead and let you buy. Oh, 
Now we got to consign, and we don't really have a lot to consign, but you know what? It's better than nothing. So we're going to consign this, which is the oval cut sole piece. The iron, we could consign it, but we're going to get it um, smelted, and then we will consign that. So that is fine. Now, I was just thinking, um, when I was playing one of my personal games, I realized that selling the bugs out of your inventory is not anything less than what you would get if you brought them to the science facility. So I'm just going to sell them. So that's 120 simoleons. That is 26 simoleons. That is zero. Uh, this is 22 simoleons. These two are 14 simoleons. The, this one is 11 simoleons. And that is actually pretty good. So what we're going to do is we're going to t pick up Trent. And we are going to get the heck out of here. We are going to actually head back home. Yeah, it's a bit early still. But if you think about it, um, I don't want to wait forever because she does have school and stuff tomorrow. So I do want her to be able to get up at that time and do what she needs to do. So, yeah. Um, so I want her to be fully rested. Oh, look go here. Nope. I meant put down Trent here. Put down Trent here. And then catch that. And on the way home, we'll catch some things that are out in the wild area back here. So, we should have some fun. Alright, and then go ahead and pick up Trent. And then go here by running. And then you should be great. Run like the wind. Never return. Alright, let's see. Uh, yeah, her curfew is in one hour. He just saw a wild horse. Okay. That's not a big deal. Big dealio. Big dealio. Go here by running. She's like, I'm exhausted. And this kid is heavy. Well, that's why you don't have kids at this age. No, I'm just kidding. Um, it's, it's not logical, but that's okay. Pause. I think I see a rock. I'm not sure. I absolutely do. Put down Trent here. Fast. Fast. Okay. Put him down. Collect that. And then I'm going to have you pick him up. So go ahead and pick up Trent. And then you can head home. And that should be great. Okay, go ahead. Here we go. She takes an awfully long time, doesn't she? She takes a sweet time getting up here. Oh, man. All right. So we are finally home, and I'm sure Trent is exhausted. So go ahead and just put him in his bed. You are starving Marvin down here, so let's get you to eat. Um, just have some quick green salad, and then I'm going to have you hit the haystack as well so let's get that all done quickly good night Trent oh it was a diamond perfect that'll actually be worth a lot of money actually before you do that let me go ahead and have you get this smelted oh we want to sell this Japanese beetle for 11 simoleons and then get this cut as the oval cut and then we can go upstairs and we can go ahead and sleep so that way we get everything done so. El done so. Okay, so that was smelting that. That was getting that cut. And now she is off to bed. And as you can see, he's already sleeping. So guys, this is where I'm going to end this episode. Just for the fact that they are sleeping. I am probably out of time. Um, I forgot to start my alarm the last time that I started recording again so I'm not sure exactly where I am it could be a little late could it be a little early but that's okay if you guys like this please don't forget to comment like and subscribe to my channel also don't forget to check out the 500 subscriber giveaway contest that's going on on my channel right now and I will talk to you guys in a later episode thanks so much for watching